Welcome to Access a Trader, the number one community for those who are committed to taking control of their trading in order to achieve success, profitability, and longevity. Thank you for joining us. Here's Dan Shapiro to help you find your edge, master your process, and own your future. Hey guys, good evening everybody. Welcome uh, to another uh, weekend edition of uh, the Axis of Trader.com um, update, right? Uh, only this time, I, it is Thursday night. Uh, the market just closed a couple of hours ago. Uh, it's a long four day weekend, so I figured, look, let me just, you know, I, I would have been doing my work anyway on Thursday. Um, I would have been recording the video anyway on Thursday. Let me just knock it out now. Uh, so we have uh, three, four days of solid rest, sun, fun, family, smiles, good food, barbecue, splish splash, everything in, in between. Because again, we deserve it, right? Us as traders, uh, we deserve a break. Again, you don't need to be on a horrific mental roller coaster uh, to need a break. You need to recharge. You know, we talk about this uh, nonstop. You need to recharge. You need to kind of rebalance. Um, your thinking, your, your, your inner core, your inner being, everything, so you can be completely focused uh, on the task at hand, which is the next uh, trading day. And because of a market like this, um, you know, I, I've, I've always tried to kind of put in a little bit of a, you know, a little bit of a lesson, especially for the newer traders uh, every single day. Again, if you've been watching my broadcast here for uh, for a while, you kind of know I try to put in little gems here and there. Whether you take it or leave it, it's a, you know, it's up to you. But this is what I try to do. But in, in tonight's update, you just got to kind of just take a step, step back and just, you know, no lesson tonight. Just, just kind of kind of step back and, and just really appreciate what we have here. Okay. Uh, again, uh, this is, you know, very close, you know, really, really close uh, to the action we saw during, you know, the 99, 2000, middle of 2000 area. Uh, during the dot-com revolution, obviously, ultimately the dot-com bubble, but this is this is really the closest thing to it, and uh, the most amazing part because uh, my primary focus is the beta names. You know, the the, you know, the highest uh, vol not necessarily volatility, but the highest range, average true range names for the day. Um, I really appreciate this market more because not only uh, do you have channels on one direction, right? You actually have channels in both directions. Uh, if you choose to trade kind of individual uh, intervals throughout the day. So this is very, very uh, unique to all of us. But again, for all of us who do trade the Teslas of the world, the Amazons of the world, the Netflix and the Rokas of the world, again, sometimes you just got to step back and just say, wow, this is just, this is just really, really cool. Uh, and this week, uh, the, you know, the start of, you know, the start of July, uh, completely the mirror image of, you know, of June, of, of what we saw in May, what we saw in April. Um, and this is just terrific action. So again, sometimes you really don't need to uh, try to drive the point home how great the action is on most days, day to day. Um, sometimes you just gotta just kind of sit back and just appreciate what you have, uh, understand that the expansion of natural channels will always be there because these names are 300, 400, 500, 1,000, 2,000, almost $3,000 a share. And the higher these stocks go, the higher uh, the higher probability that retail will be out of these names, okay? Because again, remember, uh, smaller accounts are usually gonna trade smaller price stocks. The higher the price goes, the higher probability it will be institutionally money-driven, uh, option flow-driven, all that, you know, all that good stuff. And in a weird way, it'll be a lot more seamless just because these stocks are going higher and eliminating a lot of the retail noise, especially on, you know, on the equity base. But uh, fantastic action. What are you going to say? You know, you, you had Tesla, Amazon, just, you know, everything pretty much losing its mind. Uh, you know, Tesla, again, the quote unquote uh, email leak, um, you know, where Elon Musk and again, God bless him, right? God bless him, um, you know, turned around and said, hey, I want to thank our uh, Tesla employees on the great news, right? Great news, wink, wink, great news. Uh, the Tesla production numbers, it's all good. We beat the deliveries uh, despite some closing of plants, blah, blah, blah. And again, you can see what Tesla did this week, just a you know cartoonish-like move. I mean, this is, this is what basically dot-com was. It's cartoonish-like moves. Uh, same thing with Amazon. I mean, just, just nuts. I mean, you know, Amazon literally went from 2630 
2630 to nearly 3000 in, in, in three and a half sessions, which is uh, absolutely amazing. But again, it didn't really just stop there. Uh, again, if you do trade beta, you saw it all over the place. You saw Netflix, you saw Facebook wake up. Roku is incredibly strong. Uh, this week as well. Um, Spotify was very, very strong. You, and we'll talk about the individual pivots on, in a second. But we're, we're definitely, definitely uh, in a great, great market, uh, both long and short. Again, we talked about a lot of areas uh, that we did take advantage of this week, uh, not only on the blow off tops, but it'd be the identifying them uh, reclaiming and remounting key supply uh, support zones to kind of start going back uh, back the other way. But now we're here, right? Now we're here. We'll, again, we'll talk about the individual pivots. Uh, if you look at the, the individual numbers for the week, uh, very, very strong. Dow uh, up 3.3%. Uh, you had the S&P up 4%, and obviously the tech-heavy uh, Nasdaq was up 4.6% uh, for the week, which is, it, it's again, absolutely remarkable. Uh, phenomenal strength uh, to uh, end the week, um, and now we're kind of in a weird spot. And again, if you are paying attention, and this is where we we, we talk about again taking off the rose-colored glasses and actually paying attention to what we're seeing technically, you will see a very very common thread, right? Inverted hammer, inverted hammer, right? Can anybody guess what this is? Da da da. da. We got an inverted hammer. So it, it's it's a, a lot of times again you're, you're trading bias based on technical analysis, but again, at some point and how you become a better trader uh, via technical analysis, how to, again, rec recognize uh, scenarios that just happen. So again, inverted hammer, flush, inverted hammer, flush, da, 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 inverted hammer. And when you look at all these stocks, how they close today, again, they're tired, right? They're tired. And again, you know, Tesla can, can it gap up again on Monday. Sure, it can. But again, you can see gap up and kind of lower highs the whole day. Uh, Amazon, again, gap up, lower highs the whole day. Uh, Netflix, again, tired, you know, big, big move up, tired the whole day. Uh, BYND, you know, got had a couple of PRs, uh, lower highs, three consecutive days. Again, it's tired. Boeing, uh, again, it's very, very close to breaking down, guys. I know a lot of people are Boeing fans. Uh, we had a pivot to the upside. We had a pivot today that didn't trigger to the downside. But you can see three days in a row, it's just holding on to the five-day moving average. Uh, and again, it starts confirming the five-day. There's, you know, there's seven to 14 points in the trade. Uh, so that looks good as well. Uh, Apple, you can see, again, tired. You know, again, inverted hammer, double top. Uh, same thing again. You can see how close it is uh, to breaching the top of the channel as well. Uh, Facebook attempted a good run in the middle of the week, but again, same thing. Uh, same thing as well. You know, you had this uh, big, big run up, and again, things look very, uh, very tired. Uh, Google, you can do the same thing again. Inverted hammer again, mirroring uh, the QQQ. So again, we have this monster run, uh, monster run in the Qs. Uh, you know, again, inverted hammer, inverted hammer, inverted hammer. So again, I'm not look. I'm not, by no means, you know, am I talking about the destruction of prices, but again, like we've said on, on identifying three consecutive inverted hammers off of uh, the upper Bollinger Band, again, the market is not trying to fake you out, okay? It's not, the market's not trying to trick you. It's telling you repetition is the same thing. It's telling you the sequence of events usually wind up the same way. Again, so if you believe that this was a sell signal. If you believe this is a sell signal, well, again, what do you think this is going to be? So, um, you know, look, I, I, I definitely, uh, I definitely believe in trading reality. We've been, you know, we've been harping on the idea and trying to drill point uh, the home that again, trust technical analysis. Again, there's going to be really good opportunities to the upside just because the market is so good. But again, this is to, the, you know, this is to point out that again, history will repeat itself because again, technical analysis works. And again, if you are going into this weekend completely blinded by the light, what well, you're looking at Tesla and it's shining bright and Amazon shining bright, just understand the warning signs. The same thing uh, that people weren't prepared to hear and talking about the next day. Well, who saw it coming? I'm telling you, this is about to come, right? It's about to, it's a, it's about to happen again if we start confirming today's uh, price channel. So again, at least be prepared uh, for it for Monday if we gap down. Uh, if we gap down, you know, maybe it plays out a little bit differently. Uh, but if we gap up on Monday, right, if we gap up into supply and we start losing the bottom of this channel, we are going to have uh, another pullback just the same way we saw right here and right here. And obviously, uh, this is, again, giving you a warning signal of what might happen uh, from Monday's uh, trading session. So uh, let's talk about it. Uh, incredible week. I mean, really is. 
Uh, again, if you've been watching this broadcast now for the whole week, it's just it's just, just been nuts. I mean, absolutely nuts. Um, you know, because of Corona, because of, you know, just kind of being stuck at home for the most part. Uh, and again, we, we know about the cases, uh, you know, 10,000 overnight cases in Florida, which is crazy, which is absolutely nuts. Uh, so that's going to end one way or another. Uh, but, but again, uh, for all of us who've been trading for such a long time, again, this is just basically my, my whole routine is literally trading stocks, trading charts, trading charts, stocks, charts, charts, stocks, a little bit of basketball in between, walking the poodle in between, obviously eating a lot of cake. My wife swallowed that uh, in between as well. But we're kind of, you know, we're kind of focused, man. And that's the whole point. We're kind of focused. This is kind of where you need to uh, use this time to hone your skills and be a better uh, be a better trader. There's nothing uh, that nothing. There's really no excuse to kind of put in the work. So uh, this weekend, absolutely, you know, um, get a lot of rest, recharge, but you have to put in the work. So let's talk about uh, let's talk about the, the pivots today. Uh, very aggressive. Um, 186 upside again, right? Spoiler alert. This is the channel, right? You see this 180, right? 180 on, on Boeing. Spoiler alert. Spoiler alert. Spoiler alert. Right? Look at the five day, right? 180, 180, 180, 180, hit, hit, hit 183 times. There's, there's no more uh, this disputing where the big number is. Here it is, 180. So uh, obviously that didn't hit today, but 186 did hit to the upside. Uh, gave a trade, you know, definitely gave a trade today. Here is the 186 level. Uh, here's the 186 level. Again, popped up almost two points on Boeing before again rolled over. And again, you can see how long this range is here. This 180 is obviously the line in the sand. So uh, big trade on Roku, uh, 129.75, 130 needs to build. Again, you saw this crazy, crazy option flow, man. You had 130s, 135s, 140s, 150s call, call buying coming in. Here's the whole range here, 130. I uh, broke that, just exploded, uh, went to 132.50, and obviously everything started rolling in. Again, that's my point. Everything's very, very heavy uh, after their big runs. Uh, NET, cheese. So NET, I woke up today, it was up 50, 60 cents. I was up, you know, a dollar fifty, dollar sixty on my swing. It looked good, right? It looked good. And I said, look, 38, uh, 38 50 is the 52 week breakout, yada, yada, yada. Now I'm only up 50 cents on my swing. Uh, three days, three full days, I'm only up 50 cents in the trade. A again, trading non-beta names for me, it's like clawing out my eyes. But again, you know, it is what it is. I'll give it, uh, I'll definitely give it some more time going into uh, next week. Again, we're starting to see uh, the July 40s, the 41, the 42 calls. So I want to give it everything, the opportunity. Um, I actually pulled this pivot. Okay, if you guys remember pre market and I'll show you in a second. I actually did pull this pivot. I just didn't want to buy uh, Alibaba up like six and change it was kind of a shame because if you look at Alibaba, it actually had a big, big run. I think we traded to 25, 26, but uh, this was no pivot at the end. Uh, this was a pretty, pretty big move here. Uh, Spotify uh, 266 needs to build. Uh, Spotify broke out today. Big, big move in Spotify. Uh, so here was the, here was the 266, right? Here was the 266, and it got above the 266. Not only got above the 266, it broke out of the 252 week highs of 271.75 and went as high as the 274.30. So really, really nice move on Spotify. Still like it for next week. Uh, so definitely keep an eye on that. It's a big move there. ZS never came close uh, to the breakout. Uh, Akamai got upgraded today. 113 needs to build. Here was Akamai. Uh, here is Akamai 113, right? Here's the 113 needs to build. And Akamai went all the way up to, actually not even that big move. move. Again, I, I didn't trade Akamai, 14 and change, but again, still looks good for next week. Uh, Facebook never got up to the 241 level. Um, I was joking around here, obviously. Uh, 1800 needs to build, obviously I was joking. Uh, I traded also NVIDIA today, nice move. Traded, I traded Roku, NVIDIA. Uh, Spotify today it was a good day. Good day today. Uh, Nvidia 387 needs to build to confirm 52 week highs. Uh, here was Nvidia confirmed the 252 week highs. You can see it confirmed the 52 week highs and went right to almost the 390. And we knew we knew it was going to get rejected there because it was a supply zone coming up here in this linear regression line. Again, this thing kind of mirrors uh, the Nasdaq 100 inverted hammer again. Uh, but a nice move. Listen, nice uh, three dollar move there. Um, Talk about a nice bounce, okay, guys. Talk about a really, really nice bounce here. Usually, I don't put uh, bounce plays on the Twitter feed. I usually like to use uh, just the natural pivots, but this was such a good play uh, that I put it on here. So, 477.50, 478 potential bounce play off of support, 
or 490, guess what? Both hit. Um, and it actually hit after, it actually hit at the same, not the same time, but it hit, and then it started rallying here. So 477.50, uh, 478, here was the bounce play. And here's, here's why, again, this is off rising support. Uh, we do these plays all the time in the live webinar. So here is the rising support right over here. So this 477, uh, you can see the low here, 477.77, and the damn thing just exploded. Just it, it put up like an $8 bounce, like a really, really big move, and the natural pivot uh, hit as well from the 490 went to like 492 and change so big big move on netflix as well um yeah so i said unfortunately i just pulled this pivot i said hey let's forget about the setup i can't justify buying uh baba up six it actually went up 10 which is blah 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 so uh boeing take on the way up and the video take on the way up uh again you know 266 so was the pivot and again 272 will fly went to like 74 and change uh tesla again again this is the point uh this is the whole point of trading uh both sides right so 1195 if it builds below can flush again experienced traders only if you're a new trader this is not for you again not every single trade uh can be for you and i said look 1195 take on the way down 1185 next spot look at the low right guys and here's the pivot and here's the low so here is the, the pivot right here, right? Right over here, uh, 1195, it confirmed and went right down to 1185. Again, there is no guesswork. Stocks trade from supply to supply and demand to demand. Obviously there will be, I will be looking for a sneaky, sneaky pivot on an exhaustion blow off top possibly on Monday or Tuesday on Tesla to kind of ride it back down to the downside, but just a phenomenal trader. Uh, any way you look at it, uh, greatest, greatest trader, definitely in my 2021 years uh, of trader, both sides. So fantastic. Well, listen, $10 candle uh, in between all this buying madness is absolutely amazing. Again, 180 is a big, big level on Boeing going forward. Uh, Roku, just the monster. And I had this, listen, again, at some point, I just said, this, just, this tape is insane. Just this tape is absolutely amazing. Uh, and again, that's what we are uh, fortunate enough to have. Uh, so going forward, guys, uh, going forward uh, Monday, uh, I'm looking for a reversal in equity prices. Again, are they going to get murdered like they did a couple of days ago? You know, I don't know. I, I, look, I want to be at least prepared for a significant downturn. Uh, excuse me, I don't want to use the word downturn. Significant rug potential rug pull like we saw on the previous blow off top uh, only, uh, only last week. So guys, again, make sure for all you folks, get a lot of rest. Okay, go enjoy your life. Uh, have some cocktails, just smile, get some sun, whatever the case may be. But guys, you have to put in the work, okay? Spend at least a couple of hours, you have four days for all you guys who are, especially new to the PS60 feed or the, or the, uh, or the live webinar. Look, there's 10, 10 and a half hours of data, uh, of, of, of content breaking down these pivots, okay? I, again, I could feed you pivots till you're blue in the face. If you are not... Uh, if you are not understanding all the moving parts, you're, you're just cheating yourself. You're cheating lo your longevity. Uh, so please put in the work because, again, it's incredibly important to understand the moving parts or else, again, you are still playing catch up mentally and you won't understand the dynamics of them. So, guys, have a great weekend, everybody. It's Thursday. Get some rest. I love you all. Hope everybody is living their best life for all you new traders that are still, you know, still trying to find your footing, it will come. It will absolutely come. Have faith. It's just part of the journey. It's part of the process. And with God's help, I'll see you all uh, next week. Have a great weekend, guys. Have a great lesson. God bless. Congratulations for putting in the time to take control of your trading. You're one step closer to owning your future and achieving the success you desire. Want daily trade ideas directly from Dan, straight off his personal watch list? Unlock our free PS60 Vault, where you'll get nightly updates on pivot opportunities we're watching for the next day's session. Click the link in the description to get started today.